Hi there. I'm Natalie Foreverland, and I've got some thoughts to share with you that I'd really like for you to consider before you go and vote tomorrow. Number one, Donald Trump chose Pence to be his vice president. Now, I don't know if you've done any research on Pence, but he is a wise, just, and fair man. And he was an excellent choice for vice president. And he could potentially be our next president within four years. Also keep in mind that the next president of the United States will be choosing four Supreme Court justices. This is huge as they govern our land and they decide what is constitutionally correct and just. And it is very important that they are for life. And if you ask why, I would plead with you to go to the internet and research third term abortions because your money is paying for them. The money that comes out of your paycheck, tax dollars are paying for third term abortions. And Donald Trump had said that this will not be the case when he becomes president. Also, I need you to know and understand that two days ago, the FBI released WikiLeak emails and video confirming the pedophilia, murder of children, human trafficking of Haitian children, in which the Clintons participated in and continue to participate in on Pedophile Island. If you don't believe me, please click on the link included in this video. You can see the emails from your, for yourself released by the FBI. You can uh, hear the sources. You can hear everything to confirm what I'm saying. Number two, Donald Trump is fearless. He is not afraid to go into our government, into the White House, and remove its corrupt heart. He is not afraid to clean house. We need someone who is not afraid. Number three, Donald Trump is a hard worker. Our tax dollars are paying for a president that works hard. I don't know of a man that works harder. When he sets forth on a mission to accomplish a goal, to accomplish a task, he goes forward with a perseverance, with an endurance, with a strength, and with a strong will. He does not bend. He stands firm. He's a hard worker. Number four, he knows the system. He's the one to boost our economy. He understands international trade. He understands how the economy works. He understands the nuances of currency. His knowledge is priceless concerning how the world works. He knows the system. Number five, his actions speak louder than words. Now look, I saw the video that happened 10 years ago. I heard what he said, but let me tell you something. Many years ago, I was on Highway 95 in Florida, fixing to make my turn on Butler Boulevard, heading to Jacksonville on Hodges Road. And I made a call to my customer service because my clients were upset about a faulty product and I was mad. And I was cussing up a storm. And you know what that customer service rep said to me? He said, Natalie, you sound like a sailor. And I said, oh, no. I have ruined my Southern Belle image. What shall we do? You know what I did? I changed my behavior. I changed. I decided that I did not like the way that I was perceived and I did not like the words that were coming out of my mouth. So I changed. Now, if you know me today, you would know that I'm a little Miss June Cleaver from Leave it to Beaver. I like Petticoat Junction. I like Andy Griffith. I like all the old shows and I like wholesome. But let me tell you, if you had listened to what my mouth said, 
10 years ago, you would not know that. People change. Donald Trump's actions speak louder than his words. You know, I learned this from my father. Growing up, he did not express love with, oh, Natalie, I love you. He was not the lovey-dovey type. But let me tell you, I never lacked for a roof over my head. I never went to bed at night scared. You know why? Because he provided and he protected me. Now you can say what you want to about Donald Trump, but here's the deal. He has provided for his family. He's provided for his ex-wife, for his current wife, for his children like no other. Now, in case you don't think provision is important, let me explain something to you. I'm a single mom, and I've been out on dates. And you know what's funny? I can date a fellow, and he can be sweet and nice and kind as can be. And at the end of the night, ooh, guess who gets the bill? I do. And they've wanted me to pay the bills. So let me tell you something, provision is important and it does show love and provision does show kindness. So please do not discount his actions because his actions speak louder than his words that he said 10 years ago. Furthermore, please, you talk about an example that you want your children to see Really? Have you looked at our $20 bill? On the front of our $20 bill is Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson, who owned slaves, who tortured slaves, who molested slaves, and had mistresses as slaves. He also forced 46,000 Indians off of their land, and they walked a trail of tears and many of them died. So please don't tell me about examples, okay? It is our responsibility as parents to teach our children what is wrong and what is right. And I don't care what human it is out there, they've made mistakes. The point is that they recognize them and that they change and become better people. That's where we all wanna to get to. Furthermore, ladies, please hear me out. Just hear me out. This election is not about women. It's not about you and me. I've been demeaned by men. I've come home and I've cried, but you know what? I have to wake up the next morning. I'm a single mom and I have to provide for my son and I've got to wake up and I got to make it happen because that's what we do. And this election is not about me, you, it's about our children. It's about the next generation. And that brings me to my final point, number six. Donald Trump is a builder. Now, whether you know it or not, more than anything right now in this nation, we need a builder. Whether it is a physical wall that will keep out ISIS, human trafficking, drug trafficking, whatever evil it is that's coming across that border, or whether it is a wall that is not seen, that consists of stricter regulations, stricter rules as to who comes across that border. Let me tell you, your children are at stake. What happened in Orlando, the people who were killed, those were all someone's child. Every last one of them was a mother's child. Every veteran that has gone out there and fought for America that comes back to the United States and cannot get the medical care that they need, that is someone's child. And do not think that because it's not your child that it couldn't be later on down the road. Let me tell you something right now, guys. We've 
got to eliminate ISIS. We have got to eliminate the fanatical terrorism that is pervading our land. And we need a builder, someone who is fearless that can do it. Look, I don't know what your purpose is in life. It could be to save animals. It could be to save the earth. It could be to save the trees. Whatever it is, do it. But I know my purpose in life. I love children. And I want to save our children. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter what example is set for our children if our children aren't alive. We have an opportunity as parents to teach our children this is wrong and this is right. But right now in our nation, we need a builder who will keep our children safe. Because whether it's been your child or someone else's child, there have been children kidnapped from their beds in the middle of the night. There have been children that have gone into human trafficking, sex slave trade. And this should not be, whether it is children in America or children of the earth, it is children. I plead with you to think about this. And tomorrow, November 8th, I will be voting for the next president of the United States, Donald Trump. And I hope you'll join me.